Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, the Card Karma Legacy Deck Series. Today we are covering um, not necessarily a prominent deck in the metagame, but uh, a lot of people seem to think it has a lot of potential, primarily because it has a favorable matchup on the best deck in the format, which is a uh, Verizian Genesect with Celebi. So um, yeah, it's well positioned, but has its own you know set of problems. But anyway, that would be the uh, combination of Reshiram and Typhlosion Prime. There's a few other different builds you can have uh, to replace the Typhlosion, such as like Chandelure or maybe Embor. You know, things that can um, put more energy on the field. But uh, yeah, we're going to focus on Reshiram, Typhlosion, or Reshiflosion. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, just kicking things off, we have one copy of Cleffa. Clef is good because it allows you to just uh, shuffle your hand and draw six more cards. So if you, th the thing is, with all this stuff going on, you can have bad combinations of cards that aren't really um, helpful to getting set up. And so Clefa can refresh your hand and allow you to, uh, you know, change what you're working with. We have a three-one-three line of uh, Cyndaquil uh, or Typhlosion, rather. And uh, yeah, let's look at Typhlosion really quickly. Uh, 140 HP, pretty nice. Um, his Pokey Power is the main reason we're running him, and that is uh, Afterburner, which reads, uh, Once during your turn before you attack, you may search your discard for a Fire Energy and attach it to one of your Pokemon. If you do, put one damage on that Pokemon. So obviously we like to use that with to attach to our Reshiram, who has Outrage for 2 energy, does 10 more for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So not only do we get to attach an energy to him, but we put a damage counter on him, which powers up our Outrage. So uh, it's a nice little synergy there. Um, he actually does have an attack, uh, Flare Destroy, for 2 Fire and a Colorless. He does 70, and he discards an energy to bo from both Pokemon. So he can power up his own um, Afterburner with his own attack, and discard energy off of them. And uh, 70 damage is okay. Not bad. Um, sometimes you do have to use that if you run out of Reshirams or something. But uh, yeah, so that's Typhlosion, and then like I said, Reshiram with Outrage. He also has Blue Flare. Um, for two fire and a colorless, 120 damage, discard two fire. So, um, as long as you have two Typhlosion up, you can reuse blue flare pretty much as much as you want. And the cool thing about that is, against things like Mewtwo or whatever, who does more for energy, you can discard them here and kind of lower the amount of damage you can take from somebody like that. Um, so yeah, that's Rush Ram. He has 130 HP, which is nice. Um, maybe, you know, could be more, but it's uh, pretty bulky. Uh, then we, for some other support, we run a 2-2 line of uh, Ninetales, and I actually have a split here of the uh, Roast Reveal Ninetales, Pokey Power. Um, once during your turn, you may discard a fire from your hand if you do draw three cards. So not only does that fuel your Typhlosion, but it's drawing you cards, so very, very nice um, ability there. And uh, I, I used to run two of the Roast Reveal, but I've actually decided to try uh, teching in a Bright Look Ninetales, which has the Lysander effect and um, just see maybe if that comes in handy. It could be that just running two rows reveal for consistency is better, but uh, yeah, and then uh, and then one copy of Jirachi. Again, Jirachi's just so good with level ball, um, grabbing any of your supporters is a very nice effect. <clears throat> so yeah, that's our Pokemon line, and then moving on to the trainers. Computer Search as our ace spec, it's pretty much the best one, and uh, you can discard fire energies for free basically. Three copies of Junk Arm, one of the best trainer cards in the Legacy format. Discard two cards from your hand, search your uh, discard for a trainer card, put it into your hand. So you can get another rare candy, you can reuse plus powers, pretty much anything in your deck. Uh, junk Arm is awesome. Two copies of Level Ball, mostly going to be used for Jirachi, but you can also get out extra copies of Cyndaquil, Quilava, or you can actually grab any of your Vulpix Ninetales pieces. So maybe more Level Balls would be better, but um, that's how it is for now. Two copies of Plus Power. Like I said earlier, um, you, you have a beneficial matchup on Genesect, but you actually kind of struggle in almost any other matchup. So this Plus Power is to kind of help boost your damage output. Um, you know, it's notable that 120 plus the 10 hits 130, which um, a lot of the big basic type of Pokemon uh, in the format kind of have that uh, 130 HP. Two copies of Pokemon Reversal. It's the same as a Pokemon Catcher. It can allow you to, you know, t target certain threats and take them out of the game. So yeah, two copies of that. Two copies of Random Receiver, just to guarantee a supporter card getting into your hand. 
uh, three copies of rare candy because we do only run three typhlosions and we do have one way to evolve into them manually if we have to with the quill lava so three rare candies is fine to me you can junk arm for another one if you need to one copy of super rod because um, if we do lose either Reshirams or pretty much any of our Pokemon, we do want to have a way to get those back into the deck. One copy of Ultra Ball. Um, we don't really want to be just throwing away resources all the time, so uh, we don't run a heavy amount. But uh, Ultra Ball is nice, so you could just rare candy straight into Typhlosion or get a Reshiram out if you fail to do so. So um, yeah, so far, two copies of N. N's good, but Oak is better, so that's why I run two two N three Oak. Two Pokemon Collector. This is really important to help you set up and get an early start. The hardest part about getting this deck going is getting multiple Stage 2 lines, you know, online. So uh, Collector helps you get set up your board, um, you know, hopefully on the first turn if you can draw you for it or just draw into it. Two copies of Juniper. You already know what Juniper does. Um, Oak I talked about. Two Skyla. Again, Skyla can grab your Rare Candy, can grab Computer Search to get whatever. Um, Tropical Beach, because I, as I said, this is a setup heavy deck. Sometimes just having this extra turn, you know, to draw cards is nice, and you're not really going to be attacking meaningfully anyway. Um, you could replace Beach with something else. I'm not sure what I would you would replace off the top of my head. Two copies of Silver Bangle, because all of your attackers are non-EX, and uh, you ideally, you know, want to be taking out EXs, so really no reason not to run Silver Bangle. One copy of Silver Mirror. Uh... Hold on, guys. Yeah, uh, one copy of Silver Mirror. This card helps against the Weavile. It has to use a on G booster to get through it. And yeah, it's just a nice uh, little trump card for. Looks like we got a match here against uh, PD Maliki. I'm not sure how you're supposed to say that. Looks like he's playing some form of Ray Eels. If I had to take a guess, I saw Water Fire Dragon. Keldeo, Rayquaza, that kind of thing. Could be something else. You know, you can never be too sure. Um, we do win the coin flip, so we will go first. Obviously, an evolution based deck. We want to get our Pokemon evolved as quickly as possible. And, yeah, so I have Cyndaquil Level Ball in hand. I could go straight for the Jirachi Collector play, and I think I will. It's just such a strong play. Um, yeah. You know, I could choose to go, you know, Oak or whatever, but I think Jirachi for Collector is worth it. Yep, and it is Rayquaza, as I expected. Go ahead and level ball. Grab Drashi, it is in the deck. Um, looks like we have most of what we need in the deck. One for Reshiram prize. Um, yeah. So that could be a problem. Okay, go ahead and use that for the collector. Grab one of these, one of these, and another Cyndaquil. Oops. And I'll just go ahead and attach manually to the Reshiram. Oops. Yeah, I think that'll end the turn. So I don't think you can even get a knockout on this the first turn um, I don't know I don't think he has a way to get two energy right away see a dual ball flipping one heads probably grab a Tynamo maybe a Caldeo Caldeo yep Fire attachment, and our opponent, I guess, thinking about his next play. Okay, he's gonna check out his prize cards. 
kind of odd for a radials deck, but I mean, it, it could be helpful on almost any deck to know what your prize cards are. And now, plus the graph is better than town map most of the time because then your opponent does not get any information. Discard already. So that's a great start for him. Let's see if he chooses to grab a supporter or something. Maybe a floatstone and he already has a supporter. Nope, push for the oak. Draw six cards. Okay. Yeah, I don't think he can really hurt me too much this first turn. Ultra Ball, tossing a Silver Bengal. Energy switch to get a Tynamo. He has to do his Tynamos online for this strategy to be effective. And then, yeah, he just passes the turn, so that's cool. I actually draw into a Typhlosion, which is nice. Let's go ahead and evolve the benched one. We do not have any fire energy in there just yet, so I could Skyla, but I think Oak is the play here. I could junk arm to get some fire in there. Um, do I want to? I think I do. I grab the candy. The level ball. I feel like I grab the level ball and get the roast reveal one. So I don't need to use bright look right now. three off of this. We actually get another candy, but we have no Typhlosion. I don't know if it's even worth it to evolve here since he can probably take me out, but it will at least take him an extra energy to do so. Um, junk Arm again. I don't think Junk Arm again is going to be useful here. Uh, I'll go ahead and use Afterburner. Start powering up Rushy Ram. And I think that's gonna have to be a pass. Can't really do much else. So, yeah, we force our opponent to have to need uh, two electrics in order to uh, KO his Gulava. He does get a tiny or electric online, so that's good. He still needs Float for Keldeo, though and a manual attach for the turn. He gets the float. So yeah, probably see a uh, dynamotor attachment onto the Rayquaza. Does he have a manual attachment is the question. as well as Dynamer, so he can kill the Squall Lava, which is not that major, and he's, is, and he's not taking one of my major players, but um, it does, it's not, it's unfortunate, that's for sure, but um, we'll see, we'll see. And there's Junk Arm for Dual Ball, getting one heads again. Right. Another Tynamo. And Dragon Burst will kill our Quill Lava. If he gets that second one online, he can do a consistent 120, which as you can see will kill my Rusher Ram now, having taken 10. So go ahead and promote Rusher Ram.
Okay, reversal. Could be interesting. Since I do only run one Jirachi, Junk Arm for level isn't really going to be effective. I think I'm actually going to try... Who do I hit? I could take this out, but I have to do, use Blue Flare. But, I think it's worth it. And we're even on prizes now. <clears throat> I have a fire in hand so that I can do afterburner plus attach. Um, but I, I need I need more than that. I need more power than that if I wanted to KO this Rayquaza. If he doesn't get any electric in play though, uh, he can't. Okay, it looks like he, oh, he's going for bicycle, trying to hit his, his electric. Smart by him. Junk on for bike is powerful, and he hits it. So... Yeah, this is... Basically not winnable. Yeah, you can quickly see just how bad of a like how bad the Reshi Rams damage output and just like the how inconsistent it really is. And yeah, here it goes. He's just gonna take out this Reshi Ram. And that's basically gonna be it. I mean so long as he has another electric attach, um, he's he's golden basically. Maybe he doesn't have it. Oh, he has more bites. All he needs is one electric attach manually. He's gonna jump on for bike again. Dig down for those energies probably. And yeah. <laughs> Fails, you fail. 
guessing he did since he hasn't played it yet. Oh, oh wait, is that? Yeah, that does it too, I think. But he still, yeah, that'll do it. turn. Our opponent did discard their fire last turn, so they are down to nine cards as well, so who knows. Um, let's see here. Have they discarded any other fire? Four fire already gone, so... Okay, he does have the super rod. Probably just put three fire back in, would be my guess. Also gonna help his uh, deck count a little bit. No, one electric. I wonder why he chose an electric. Oh yeah, probably just for the manual attach option. Rush in. Could also try to set up Victini at this point. Um, okay, and he stays. Interesting. I think I'll roast reveal. If I had a sober bangle, I could KO the Keldeo, but I don't even want to KO the Keldeo, that's the problem. Um, I think I'm going to Ultra Ball the Cyndaquil and one of the Skylas. Grab another Reshiram. And I can have two going at once. for a silver bangle. And I'm gonna end the turn. I'm not gonna play, I didn't play it down because he could in or he could, or not in, but he could um, Tool Scrapper or Pokemon Catcher, the one that I attach it to. opponent has to hit fire energies, but with such a small amount of cards in his deck, it seems pretty much certain. Color is for nine. Wait, and that leaves him with three cards in deck, so... 
Making some risky plays here. Uh, he, he has to take all three prizes unless he can catch your Jirachi. He could. Yeah, he could Raikou um, and snipe Jirachi. Not sure if he. With only one eel up, that might be difficult though. No, he is going for it. And yeah, he's going to take out my nine tails here. So we took out one Rayquaza, but all he has to do at this point is is manually attach and the electric onto the uh, Raikou, and he can take out Jirachi for the game. So uh, yeah, it's not looking too good still. He's putting there's one on the Raikou and the manual attach, and that should be game. So yeah, as you can see, the deck really struggles with other top decks of the format. Uh, it does not really have beneficial matchups on almost any other good deck. Um, you might go even with Weavile, but it's not very likely because they're so much faster than you. Um, having to get two stage twos up, like, and keep them up, and also keep attackers streaming and. It's just a lot of work, and um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't believe in the deck too much. So yeah, even though I'm ending on a loss, I think that kind of proves my point of how I feel about this deck. I don't really intend to make a, a video that's like putting down a deck or anything like that, but I really do not think the deck has much potential. Um, you know, perhaps there's room for optimization in the list and there's, you know, there's things that I'm missing out on that could up your damage output, but you saw how much effort it was I had to have Silver Bangle, all three energies attached, and double plus power, you know, just to take out 170 HP EX, and it still really didn't win me the game whatsoever. I was so behind that, you know, I would, you know, it's just... It, the deck does not have that great of damage output, despite the acceleration you can get from Typhlosion. Um, and Outrage, you know, the 10-20 damage that you're putting on from Typhlosion does not buff the Outrage enough that you're actually going to be able to, you know, live long enough and really take any significant knockouts on anything. Um, you know, to even, to, to kill a Weavile with just Outrage, you would need, what, 70 uh, damage counters on it? Like... And we've all can easily kill you at any point, at, you know, within that range. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't think the deck's very good. <laughs> uh, feel free to disagree, you know, leave in the comments why you think it's a good deck or how it, my list could be improved. But, um, yeah, I I think it's, for right now, I don't think it's the it's the answer to, to Genesect or just, I don't think it's good. <laughs> so, so, yeah, Card Karma signing out.